Thank you for joining me again. In this particular topic, we will look at the Hive panel, which allows you to access HD Insight information held on your Windows Azure cluster. Now, what we need to do first of all, after we've installed the ODBC driver, is give the Hive user credentials. These were set up when you set up your HD Insight cluster. So when you click OK, after having entered your username and password, you will start to see the information held on your HD Insight server. So we have here the connection name is simply called Hive. And underneath that, we have a list of the tables and the views that are available. So here we have the Hive sample table. When we scroll down, we can see the columns that are held in that table. Here, we want all of the columns. So we'll tick them all. We could also add other filters, for example, to the query. Because what will happen is we will execute this query. It will go off and send the query to the HD Insight cluster. And that will then give us, return the data to us. So what we have here is a very simple statement, selecting the columns from the Hive sample table. And it has a limit of 200. And what that really means is we will just get the top 200 rows of data. If this was SQL Server, it would be like the top command. We can actually see that when we look at the drop down list there. We see a very small box that says limit results to number of rows. When we execute the query, we will just get the top 200 rows. We could also order the data if we like. We see the column names are given here, so we could order by country, but here we will order by client ID if we wanted. We could conduct aggregations as well. We could group values and that would be extremely useful for returning the data quickly to us. So here we have the columns and values that must be satisfied in the query for the data to be returned. We could also manually edit the Hive query if we wanted by clicking Edit Query. We have two options. We can execute the query or cancel the query once it's been made. Here we will execute the query. What will happen now is Excel will use the Hive ODBC driver in order to connect to HD Insight. The Hive query will be executed on the data store and it will give us the data back that we are looking for. So at the moment, the data is being collected on the HD Insight server and then it will be sent back. If we wanted, we could change the table style just because it's big data held in each D insight and there's no reason we couldn't change the table style in the same way as we could with other data stores. So here we've used a very simple blue table to return all of the data back to us and visualize it. So here we could filter the table in the way that we would normally with Excel, for example. So from the user perspective, there's really no difference in terms of where the data has come from. They have got their data and they're probably happy to have it. They can interact with the table in the same way as normal by filtering or they could change the styles, for example, if they liked. To all intents and purposes. This is exactly the same as any other Excel table. It just happens to have made the data accessible using 
the high view DBC driver. So to summarise, we're using Excel, the world's most favourite software, to access big data stores. So that would be data for the people.